In this video, we're going to discuss the reaction forces. Reaction forces are the same one referred to by Newton's third law of motion in that any applied force will experience an equal and opposite reaction force. In the case of this simulation study, we have a force applied of 400 newtons. This means that throughout the different parts of the model, there will be different reaction forces that in total will equal the applied force of 400 newtons. In our problem statement here, we are asked to find the reaction force in a specific location, which is at the fixed face of hole B. So let's go ahead and find that. To find the reaction forces, I can right click on this result folder and then select list result force. And this will have this new property manager right here. In the options in the top, I can select reaction force. And then in this selection box, I can select the phase I want to calculate, which is this phase right here. So I can select that and then select the command update. And then here in the table, I have my reaction forces. So the selection column shows the reaction force on the selected area, which is this one here. And the resultant force is about 766.9 newtons. So this is the answer we're looking for. I can take that answer back for further processing. However, let's take another minute to talk about extra notes on the reaction forces. One extra note we can highlight is that in the table, we also have the total reaction forces for the entire model, which are listed in my second column right here. And we can notice that the amount of that reaction force is almost 400 Newton. In my table, it shows as 399.99. And this equals to the one external load we applied in the study. Another note is on the selection phases. In the selection, we can also select more than one part of the model to find the reaction forces in multiple areas. So at the moment, I only have this face selected. Let me go ahead and select two more faces to represent all the fixtures I have in the model. So I will select the faces for the whole A, which is this one here and this one here. Now I have three faces selected and I will go ahead and click on the update command. Once I do that, we can note that the total reaction forces for all the selections equal the entire reaction forces of the model, which equals the force we applied of 400 newtons. And by this, we can conclude this video on finding the reaction forces. Subscribe and click the bell icon so Galen can hit the ball.